Well, I'm doing a nail polish declutter. Meredith, shut up! Here's my nail polish collection. Hey there, I'm Melody, and thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today, we're gonna be going through all of my nail polish. I know this is kind of ridiculous, and there's still like three rows down here. Dang, this is mad crooked. So, this is the bulk of my nail polish. Then, I have a drawer back here. Which I used to be super into like nail art, so I have the whole nine yards. Um, in the drawer, I found seven other nail polishes. So, in total, um, I want you to take a guess. Take a wild guess. You can leave it in a comment. You can just think it. Send me your guess. 243 nail polishes. Probably a good five to six, no, wait. I think third grade is kind of when I really started. Whatever age you are in the third grade, that's about when this started. Let's go through them all. The best way to do this is to take out all the ones I know I want to keep, then the other ones we can really decide. Okay. Great color. Such a classic. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one. Barney Purples. Love them. Ah, uh, this is like, this is a real OG. It's a real classic. It's beautiful. Then this one's fun. Have you even been able to see me? It's nice. It's nice. Look how cute that is. Amazing. Oh, this is a classic. Wow. Oh, this one's a... Oh, this one's one of my favorites. It's good stuff. Oh, this is really pretty. This is so, so pretty. Oh, wow. I forgot about this. This, this looks kind of like poop in the bottle, but it's really pretty on your nails. This... This is so pretty. Oh, I love this one. <sighs> Amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. This is one of my favorites. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. Oh wow, this is pretty. Wow. Oh yeah. Yes, definitely, definitely keeping it. Oh, this one. Wow. I think it's cute. <coughs> oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Oh, these ones. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm talking about nail polish. I don't even have anything on my nails. Oh, well. Wow, these are so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh yeah, definitely keeping this one. Oh wow, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm never getting rid of this. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So this is Essie Mint Candy Apple, never getting rid of it. Oh wow. Oh, this one, wow, these two. Oh my gosh need to go through all of these and decide which ones I'm actually going to keep and which ones I'm not going to keep. Okay, we're going to make a no pile, a maybe pile. That'll probably be the biggest and a yes pile. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, this one's so pretty. It looks great. Oh, this one. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That's nice. Oh, what a, this one's a classic. Oh my gosh, this one. That, oh wow, that's, that's so pretty. This is, yeah, that, wow, that's pretty. Why don't I paint my nail? Ooh, oh my gosh, never used this one. Say, it's probably a good idea not to buy me nail polish. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. Oh, this one. Yes. Yes. It looks amazing. Yes. Yes. 
Oh wow, I forgot about this one. Oh my gosh, this one smells, the smell is just like, it's really pretty though. You know what annoys the crap out of me? When my voice cracks, first of all, but also like when, when nail polishes or like any kind of container, trying to screw it on to get like the sticker on the lid, like facing where it was. And like this, when, the, can you see this? When you like twist it back, then it doesn't line up with where it's supposed to be. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, Google, what time is it? 10.57. Noted. Oh my gosh, this one is always gonna be gloopy. This is done for about at least a decade old. But it's so beautiful. When I was five, we went on like a whole missions trip to Mexico. Amazing. Years ago, I remember this, like us having this with us on our trip to Mexico. Wow. No, I'm doing a nail polish declutter. Oh, that's pretty. No, all your nail polish is clutter. Meredith, shut up! Oh, that's pretty. I remember this one. Oh. This is the same color, but it's like, one's more pink tone and one's more like orange. <laughs> Can you see that? I'm sorry, my lighting is so bad. Oh, no, where, where did it go? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, those are my favorite nail polish. No, you've been saying that about every single one of these nail polishes. No, I literally... One of them is not here. Oh my gosh, I used to love this one. My entire nail polish collection at one point used to fit into this. Oh, that smell. Oh, that one, I remember this. Do you want a top coat? Me? Uh-huh. What do you need a top coat for? For nail polish, or just to make your nails look shiny. What are you doing with all of these? I don't know. You should um, do a giveaway. If you want all my old crusty nail polish. <laughs> Thanks for a biscuit. My pleasure. Same day, just different outfit. We're almost done. We only have two more rows. I don't know if you can see the bottom row, but let's keep on. Okay, the rack is officially cleared. I have all of these separated into piles. The keep one is currently the largest pile right now, but let's, let's see what we can do. So I was gonna have some really fancy elevator music here, but instead I wanna tell you about my theory on the name of Oreos. Okay, so you know how Oreo is a cookie, cream, and a cookie, right? Right. So cookie has like two O's in it. That's like the emphasis of the word. Cream, like the R and the E is the emphasis of that word. So I'm thinking Oreo is spelled O-R-E-O. -E so what if the O from the cookies is why the O's are on the outside, and the re from the cream is why it's on the inside. Like, like O, re, O, like cookie, cream, cookie. Does that make sense? Wow. Does the Oreo thing make any kind of sense? I really hope it does. Uh, please let me know. All right, bye. It took long enough. So here it is. Out of the 243 nail polishes I started with, I ended up getting rid of 80, so like, whoever in my family wants that, if the garbage wants it, um, I don't know, we'll find out. But this is whatever 243 minus 80 is, so around no, one, do that math. it's like 163, Meredith, okay? okay? Hey Google, what's 243 minus 80? The answer is 163. So this is 163 nail polish. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Please. You know, thank y'all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, not a small one, only a big thumbs up. You can press the card up here if you want to watch my last video. And all my links and everything will be down below. See y'all. Bye.